Body Talk with Norma Kaya. Today, we're talking about tattoos, right? Yes, there is a period between the time that you get your tattoo and the time that you can receive a massage. I wanted to talk to you about this because we have many people who just doesn't even like occur to them. And while we're on the topic, flu shots, vaccinations, three days. You cannot, you cannot, if we know that you just got a flu shot on your lunch break and then you're here at 3 p.m. to get a massage, we're gonna reschedule you. Imagine this, imagine drinking a fifth of liquor and then coming in and getting a massage. That massage would then push all of that alcohol to your liver, your spleen, and your kidneys. That's your filtration and it could cause chaos. Like, I mean, alcohol poisoning. So when you have a flu shot, what do you think happens? It's not gonna be alcohol poison, but those toxins, those, those, whatever is in that shot is gonna be pushed to your filtration, right? This ink, right? I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Please ask about the ink, the quality of ink. <laughs> do your research. This is something that's going on your body and in your body for the rest of your life your lotions, your shampoos, your if your your detergents you use on your clothes, please do do your consumer research and read the ingredients, right? And what's good for me is not good for you because I have a different chemistry within me than the chemistry is within you, right? Remember that. But always, please, 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 your tattoo artists ask about the ink, ask about the quality of ink before you even set your appointment because don't back out and then leave them there with no clients person to do some ink with, right? I'm begging you, do your due diligence and make sure that the ink quality is great. I want you to do a little research. <clears throat> um, look up like cadavers and their liver due to tattoos, right? <clears throat> so the liver is the biggest filtration. And I did this myself because I love ink, right? <clears throat> and I started thinking about being more consumer conscious about what I'm putting on and in my body. And I saw where these livers have all of this different ink stuck in there because the body doesn't, pro it, it wasn't able to process it in these cadavers, all of the ink that they had gotten over the years. So be careful of the quality of the ink. There is a contraindication, meaning that there is a period of time that you cannot receive a massage. Um, and then on top of that, say, say it's been a couple weeks down the road and you got something on your upper arm, but then you bum your knee and your back is hurt. Yes, you can get like a targeted session on that lower back and that knee, as long as you're not flushing or doing a full body massage over that tattooed area, right? Um, so there are some things don't massage over it, obviously, because that would be an open wound. And that's a big no-no. In massage, big no-no. Um, if you've got open wounds, please close them up, seal them up, put a Band-Aid on them, um, whatever it is you need to do. Um, because that open wound can cause all kinds of things. And you don't want to do that, right? And just remember, give yourself three days before you get a massage after a vaccine or a flu shot. And also, um, give yourself plenty of healing time to heal the tattoo, to heal that area, um, and for your body to process all of that. Whatever that ink is, right, it's going to take some time. And I invite you to maybe help your body. For example, when I get my ink work done in the morning, I will do lymphatic massages or lymphatic massages and or lymphatic type of exercises. What does that mean? Well, I usually start off by doing this because your primary ducts are right here. And then literally like 60 of these, 50 or 60. Your arms are gonna get tired, absolutely, right? But every morning, after I get my tattoo for several weeks, I pump and I flush my lymphatic system, right? Oh, my next video is going to be your own self lymphatic massage, lymphatic benefits, and Miss Kayla is lymphatic certified here at Navarre Healing Arts. Not just was certified in the past, but currently certified by Miss Barbara White herself right? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you should look up Barbara White and see how famous she is, how she is the leading lymphatic specialist, and Miss Kayla just got certified, recertified with lymphatic with her. So,
stay tuned for that. Love you later. Bye.